Hi, so being as I can't ride it at the minute, I thought I would come on and talk to you about my bike and the final setup that I've got for the GB Divide. So here it is. So first of all, let's go through the bike and the specs. So it was the standard Apex build, however I've changed a lot on it. So we'll start at the front and work our way back. So we have the Apex shifters. Um, the shifters are not standard, they're Apex but that's what came with the bike however I've made a few changes to them so if you've heard of ratio components they allow you to change the internals of the shifters which lets you change your 11 speed shifters to 12 speed shifters for brakes we've got the TRP Spire brakes I wasn't that convinced with them because they're mechanical brakes and I'd never had mechanical brakes before and I'd heard that the stopping power wouldn't be brilliant however due to a few issues with getting uh, rival brakes and the price of them at the minute because of Brexit and coronavirus and all those good things I've decided to stick with the TRP Spire brakes. I've used them for about 800 miles now and I can't really fault them to be honest so I think I've made a good decision and I've saved myself some money. The front wheel is a custom wheel. I did buy a set of Hope Fortis wheels um, and now I'm using the Hope Fortis with a Hope Pro 4 rear hub on the back. Um, the front wheel that came in that set I'm keeping for when I'm not doing long rides and I want to save my dynamo wheel which I had custom built a couple of years ago. It's got a Sun Dynamo hub and a DT Swiss uh, rim and it's been faultless since I've had it. It's absolutely brilliant. On the front I've got a Vittoria Mezcal 2.1 tyre. It's got a little bit more grip than the back tyre which is a Terravale Sparwood which is a really nice tyre, it rolls really well in the dry however it doesn't have that much grip and in the wet it is lethal so I've stuck the mezcal on the front to give me a little bit of extra grip on the front the wheels are set up tubeless, I've been running tubeless on all my bikes for a few years now and I've only in about 4 or 5 years I've only had about 1 maybe 2 punctures so I really rate it and it's the best way to go for the cranks, I've kept the standard race face effect cranks, however I've fitted DMR Volt pedals. I use flat pedals because I've got bad knees as you know and it gives me the opportunity to sort of move my position a little bit. It's also really handy when you're off the bike because you can wear normal shoes and you can hike a bike really easily. The bottom bracket is the race face one which came in the frame. I did want to swap for a Hope one but it's so expensive and actually I've done about 800 miles and I've not had any issues whatsoever so hopefully that will continue to happen although I've got to do one and a half and that 1200 miles on the GB divide so I'm hoping it will last until the end. As I said, at the back we've got the Hope Pro 4 hub laced to the Fortis rim which comes with a standard wheel set and I've got a GX Eagle cassette which is the 1052 cassette not the 1052 I was tempted to fit the 1052 but I decided to stick with the 1050 also um, I've changed the 36 tooth chain ring to an oval 34 tooth superstar components one which will help with my knees well hopefully as that's what the marketing gum leads you to believe I've just fitted a brand new chain to the bike and it's an NX Eagle uh, chain which wouldn't be my first choice but at the minute you can't get chains so I had to fit that one. We will see how that goes, I'm hoping it will last me for the ride. I'm going to try and get hold of another chain as a spare for about the halfway point because I don't want to wreck my drivetrain. I swapped out the seat post for a lighter one, it's a used alien seat post, something like that anyway, it's really really light, it's an alloy one, I didn't want the carbon one because I didn't want the uh, seat pack rubbing on the, f on the seat post and wearing it away, which I think is probably a good move. For the saddle I've got a fabric scoop saddle, I've run this on most of my bikes. I'm really happy with it, it's really comfortable, the saddle's a personal thing, I did try Brooks Cambion, however I didn't find that comfortable in the slightest. <laughs> the rest of the parts on the bike are standard, I've kept the salsa cow chipper handlebars which are alloy, I've kept the uh, the bar tape as well whichever it was that it came with, I've changed the uh, 
end caps to the muck off ones which have got the tubeless repair kit in. Right, let's empty the bags and see what's inside them. We've got some food. I usually just take fried stuff. Although we've got like a nice little curry here. Um, I've tried a few of these and they're quite nice from Asda. That's one end. And then the other end, I've got the stove. Inside the stove, we've got some milk sachets tea bags and then the actual stove itself in the gas bottle. Also in here I've got my uh, poo kit with toilet roll and a shovel, well a little spade thing, very important, <laughs> don't forget that. Also don't forget, don't leave a trace. And then in here I've got my sleeping bag. which is a uh, RAB one. It's a four season one, it's a down one. It's really warm and it packs down really small. So that's the front bag. So this is the stem bag. In there I usually have some food, but I've just got my spork in there at the minute. That's one of them. Um, and then in this bag, which is the waterproof one, I've just got some a buff and some arm wardens and stuff in there however i'd usually keep my camera in there as well on here i've got my mount for my gopro it's like a twist one so you just twist it on and it just stays there and then you can grab it anytime you need it in the top tube bag we've got my power bank which is pushing for the revo the sine wave revolution so this is the frame bag um, on one side we've got um, first aid kit which has got some like plasters and stuff, toothbrush and some water purification tablets and a tick remover, toothpaste, that sort of thing. We've got some uh, dry wash which is good, it keeps your arse fresh and try it hopefully will stop me getting any saddle sores. We've got some spare ziplock bags because you never know when you might need ziplock bags. We've got sun cream. I'm forever hopeful that we will have some sun. <laughs> and deodorant because I don't want to stink if I go into a um, cafe. Or I want to cover it up the best I can. Moving on to the other side. I don't keep a lot in there. At the minute I've just got my waterproof which is the Outdoor Research Helium one. It's very light, it packs down very small. I've got a midi net because if you're in Scotland, which I will be, you need a midi net. Actually, I need to put some midi uh, spray in the frame bag as well, so don't forget that. And then we've got my tent poles because they fit in there nicely and my hydration bladder which you can fit two litres of water in down here i've got my tool kit i'm not going to go into that because i've already done a video on that so up here i've got my woohoo which is brilliant and my rebo light which is also powered by the dynamo it's really good and on the back i've got the red eye light which is powered by the dynamo plugs into the revo at the front there i've also got a lock it's not the best lock in the world but it's just an attempt to keep the honest people honest right let's go into the back of this uh, seat pack and see what we've got in here Down jacket with a hood 
it's quite good it's quite warm i usually sleep in that spare pair of bib shorts because i like the plan is to wash one set and wear one set and then when the other set's washed hang them out to dry on the bike and hopefully i'll be able to swap them over to avoid getting a sore backside we have got the sleeping pad which is the Firmarest neo air it's really light packs down quite small and i've not had any issues with it so far got a spare pair of merino socks i wear mainly merino stuff because it does help to stop the smell we've got a merino thermal top which i will try and save to uh, sleep in it's a dhb one it's really good and you can also wear it sort of casually if you want to go out for dinner or whatever decided to pack a pair of uh, swimming shorts because it's nice to go for a swim and also it's a good way to clean off um, could skinny dip but I might not have the opportunity there might be people around and then we've got my tent um, which packs down really small as you can see I mean I don't know compare it to the bike but yeah it packs down really small it's really light and it's fantastic to see also in here i've got a towel it's nice to try and get dry at the end of the day get rid of some of the sweat and then i've got some uh, waterproof socks which i went i didn't really understand waterproof socks until i had them but once i got them i realized how good they were and um, they are just brilliant and I'm gonna use them I did take a pair of flip-flops with me once to sort of wander around camp but I'm gonna use these as sort of a um, camp shoe I think yeah that's everything behind me look gonna do like the drone shot but I'm in my back garden so I don't know if the neighbors will appreciate it so yeah I hope you enjoy the video hopefully i've not forgotten anything if you think there's anything vital i forgot please comment and if you enjoy this video and want to see how i get on please subscribe i'll see you next time bye